We worship and honor your name. We adore you everlasting Jehovah in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you. God, I submit myself under your authority. Even God, as I speak to the nations, oh Jehovah, I pray that Jehovah Redeemer, your word is going to minister to the hearts of your people. And Jehovah Redeemer, your counsel will prevail upon our destinies in the name of Jesus. I commit every uh, every media platform where this word is being aired right now, that Jehovah Redeemer, your presence is going to minister to your church for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise. We worship and honor you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. Father, receive all the glory. We can raise our hands to us, heaven, and tell God, thank you, YouTube followers, everybody who is watching and listening to the word of God this night. We give God all the glory. We read Mazika, Taramazia. There is a way people are celebrating, but Father, we purpose to raise our hands, raise our voices, and just to tell you, thank you, Father. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you have done, Lord. My God, keeping us, oh God, alive for the whole year, even by my Father, ever since we were born, we have all the reason to give you praise, to honor you, and to adore your holy name, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we gather in your presence with everything that is called by our names, oh God, even as we covenant ourselves, my God, to the new season. Abba, Father, take over. Reign in our midst, Lord. Reign in our lives. Uh, with your power and authority in the name of Jesus. Come on, year 2023, we are speaking to you as sons of God. You must be aligned to what is the agenda of God for our destinies. It cannot be otherwise. You must be aligned to that which our Father is doing with us and for us in the name of Jesus. You must be aligned to that which is of his counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we exalt your holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I can hear from where I'm seated my house and just within the city of Nairobi so I can hear how people are celebrating. Hallelujah. As we are celebrating in the faithfulness of God because the Lord is together with us for his own. I believe you can also hear in the background what is happening. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And because of the limited time we have, uh, because of the other online social media platforms you know uh, we have put on some others that are connected to us so that i can share the prophetic word kindness you come on board share the broadcast share the broadcast share the broadcast kindly share the broadcast hallelujah people are throwing things in the air hallelujah so share the broadcast I, i'm going to read through I'm going to read through, kindly share the broadcast. I'm going to read through uh, what the Lord has deposited in my spirit. And because of what we have been handling the whole of this month of December, I am calling it summary, you know, the summary of, the summary of, you know, the summary of, you know, of what uh, the Lord has been speaking to us because for sure the Lord has prepared us. I am going to touch something a bit about my nation, Kenya, just a bit. Uh, I'll be speaking to the nation later maybe tomorrow when the Lord will allow me to speak to the nation but be sure before Monday uh, I have spoken something about the nation of Kenya and what we expect but I'll generally you know give a prophetic word for for the church and for the world you know just a general word then I'll be handling some nations but I, I want to prepare the church I want to prepare the church that uh, you know we have entered into a season uh, where um, you know uh, you know the kingdom of darkness as you come on board I, I'm waiting for whatever is happening in the city to clear you can hear uh, the Barutis and whatever they are still they are still throwing them you can hear the you can hear from the background <laughs> I'm not very far from the city so can hear that <laughs> so um I, i'm saying we um you know we, we 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 have we have to get prepared uh even as i speak to us this night kind of share the broadcast you know we have to get prepared uh you know to what to to some of the you know eventualities of some of the occurrences that we are about to see all about to witness uh in this particular season I, i'm just preparing us 
you know, preparing us, you know, of some eventualities. Uh, we, are, we are about to witness some things, uh, you know, happening in the world, you know, because number one, as I, I, I got to speak to us, I want us to know that we are in end times and a uh, woman of God and uh, men and women of God are joining up tonight. We cannot pray away the signs of end times. We cannot pray away the, the signs. Even if you fast and pray, you cannot pray away or out the signs of end times. And just like Judas, you know, before I came on, came on board, the Spirit of God was reminding me this, just as Judas was used to bring into fulfillment what was the heartbeat of God, you know, concerning the death of Jesus, so somebody has to be used, you know, to bring to pass, you know, the prophetic, uh, you know, uh, you know, the prophetic words or whatever is written in the word of God concerning any time. So we are going to see diseases that cannot be healed, so let nobody be scared about that. We are going to see and, and the people are going to be used to bring these things on board. So when you see some of these things, do not be scared. Do not be scared. Just know that the Lord is going to preserve you. So I'm going to read through. Kindly allow me. I'm going to read through what I have written and where the Lord has told me to read the scriptures. I am going to read them, but I'm generally going to read a prophetic word, a summary of the prophetic word for the season by the grace of God. Thank you so much for joining up. You could be sharing, you know, keep on sharing and keep on noting down what the Lord is saying. Kaidre share the word of God. I can see the people who have shared. Monica Wangeshi, Kaidre share the word of God. Hallelujah. You know, let us share the word of God. I'm happy to see all of you by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So the new shifted, uh, the, the new spiritual shifted season uh, is already affected. So we are not praying uh, for the season. It's already there. It's already uh, shifted. You know, it's already affected. The Lord has already finished with this and it's already a done deal. So the season is already affected by God and it's already a done deal. Now this one, this season uh, will have a great foundation. This season will have a great foundation laid right on earth by two, by the first two years, by the the first two years so i'm preparing and we are preparing you uh you know for year 2023 and year 2024 so you have you know you have what thank you Ailimu, that is what the lord has said now we now this season that is already affected we are already in it that's why as we were praying this hour the lord has said we are not crossing over we are taking over because the season was already affected from the first december of year 2022 hallelujah so we are already in it so we are already in it so as we end as we have entered you know crossed over you know already as you people are calling it crossing over as we have now entered in year 2023 you know uh this year and year 2024 they are the two years marking you know the foundation of the season that god has already effected hallelujah so if the lord tarries if jesus tarries you know this season is going to be you know of a great uh of a great uh you know grace period uh, i mean of seven years and, you know the, the period will go will go down to seven years if jesus tarries hallelujah so now we shall now do, I, I want to read through i want to read through so you can keep on noting what the Lord is saying as you understand it. So we shall not settle for us. The church of Jesus Christ, we are not going to settle for us. Why? Because our destinies, you know, and whatever it, they entail, you know, it's already a preordained deal and the Lord is already working this out to ensure that we become or that we get there. The Lord is already putting things in order, you know, commanding places, commanding things, you know, and, you know, putting things in order to to make sure that we become hallelujah so whatever your destiny entails as the lord preordained from the beginning and now beginning now as as uh, you know the lord has been preparing us for the past one month now you know we are now going to see the tangible fulfillment of the counsel of god hallelujah now the world has entered into a spiritual balancing scale the world has entered you can be writing what the lord is in kindly keep on noting what the lord is saying and as you come on board kindly share the broad I'm happy to see you, Joshua. Hallelujah. Now, listen, the world has entered into a spiritual balancing scale. The world is now seated on a spiritual balancing scale. And what is happening in this is that the justice of God will balance all the human race, I know, all the human race equations. 
the you know the you know the world has entered into a spiritual balancing scale and the justice of god will balance all the human race equations hallelujah you know the holy spirit you know is you know is searching out the deep things of god and aligning Hallelujah. And aligning, you know, every human, uh, every human being to that which is of the counsel of God and of the purpose of God. Hallelujah. That's why we have been saying, you know, this time is going to be so rewarding. It is going to be very exciting for the rem remnants of God's people. But for the wicked, particularly the sinners in Zion, it is going to be very disastrous. Hallelujah. So the world is now seated on a spiritual balancing scale. Hallelujah. So, you know, you know, the, and the, the spirit of of God is the determining factor and the justice of God will balance all human equations. Hallelujah. So this is not about the working of anybody. Nobody can bribe their way out. It is about the working of the Holy Spirit. Now according to our past deeds and according to our you know the seeds we have sowed in our, in our lives uh, according to the word of God in Galatians chapter, uh, chapter 6 and verse 7 so shall it be rewarded in this hour. God justice will be served all over. The justice of God will be served all over and I'm preparing you as I have been hearing the Lord for some few days you know even in your family setups where some uncles and some people you know you know have been you know have been sitting on the inheritance of some widows and some orphans I'm telling you my brethren watch how God is going to turn tables around and serve justice hallelujah because the world is now you know seated or on a spiritual balancing scale and and the spirit of God is searching out things and fixing things out at According to the heartbeat of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So according to our past just I mean our past deeds, you know, the justice of God shall be served in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So there is uh, you know, um, you know, uh, and and I want pre to prepare you. You watch and see, even to nations, like now in my nation, Kenya, you know, there are some people who are given positions by God and they, you know, they, they did whatever they did, they rooted the nation, they 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 did whatever they did. I'm telling you, even in the church of Jesus Christ. Anywhere there is injustice, you know, there is a cry because of injustice. You know, God has come to serve justice by his own power. And you know, before God we cannot hide. Hallelujah. So there is a divine clarion, you know, a divine, a divine clarion urgent call. It's a divine clarion urgent call for all the sinners in Zion to repent. You know, and go back to our stronghold. You know, the sinners in Zion there is a clarion call. Those people who have backtrued and gone back to the weak there's a clarion call. It is very urgent that we repent and go back to the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and you know, uh, the Lord is talking also, you know, to the prisoners in uh, prisoners of hope. You know, that's what the Bible calls them, prisoners of hope. Hallelujah. So double start that in the church. Uh, double standard in the church because this church, this time um, is really going to favor the remnants of God's people. So double standard in the church, you know, in this hour, you know, cannot stand. Double standard in the church cannot stand. Hallelujah. So what are you? What are what are we going to see? We we are going to see God bringing forth, you know, clear demarcation, clear distinction between those who are just mentioning the name of the Lord and those who are in Him. Hallelujah. So this one has nothing to do with anybody. It is God who is creating this hour by his own grace in the name of Jesus. So it is an hour for the yes of the church to be yes. You know, many other times we have been saying yes, but we don't mean it. But this time around, when Daniel says, I don't go that direction, when Joseph says, I don't go that direction, there is no, you know, throwing down, you know, the yes of the church this time is going to be yes because the Spirit of God is going to enable us. Hallelujah. And why is the Lord doing this? The Lord is doing this because he has come to bring forth a distinction, you know, and to clear the way for the remnants of his people in the world because you know we have all been put in one basket when when the church has fallen and somebody has done something it is a church no it is not going to be very clear by the grace of god in the name of jesus now in the book of john chapter 2 john chapter 2 and verse 5 we see a scenario of some wine that had been prepared by a man, the owner of the wedding and the master of the ceremony. But in the course of that, the wine was not enough. And what do we see? We see somebody, you know, by the name Mary, the mother of Jesus, you know, she's uh, she's she's getting involved in this. And, and you know, she, she's, she's handling it. And she's telling the people there, you know, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Hallelujah. And what do we see at the end of the day? You know, there is something that is coming up. There, there is a new wine that is coming up. That 
that is not pass passing through the usual and the ordinary process. I came to say tonight with the season we have entered into, you know, there is something new. That is why the Lord, the Lord has been speaking to us from Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. There is something new that the Lord is already doing. Hallelujah. And this one does not, is not coming from the touch of any man. So nobody will brag and say, it is because of my effort. It's because of my experience. Hallelujah. This is the season of God and whatever he's doing, it is for his own glory. Hallelujah. So whatever was, you know, humanly devised in the past many days, you know, as, as touching the church of Jesus Christ has now come to an end. Hallelujah. You know, it's a season of the brand new wine, which has not passed through the process or the usual process of men. Now, this one, nobody will, will take the glory. It is all for the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are going to see the new, hallelujah, the new production. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And this one is coming, you know, as the Lord is called, working with the faithful servants. What do we see in the wedding? There were faithful servants, people who are ready to cooperate with the Lord, to bring it forth as the Lord desired for that particular moment. So God has raised a remnant of faithful servants who are able to obey him without asking total obedience, without asking questions. Hallelujah. So church, what is the Lord saying? Get set ready for very new ways. Get set ready in these hours. No, it's not about where we are coming from. It's not about the book you read. Hallelujah. So in this hour, get ready for very new ways, very new instructions, very new routes, very new, uh, you know, um, you know, awareness, very new connections. Hallelujah. Very new possessions, very new placements, very new ideas, very new dreams. Hallelujah. Very new formulas, very new places. Hallelujah. Very new battles. <laughs> Hallelujah. So get ready for all those very, very new, very new. As you know, as, as the Lord is coming to fulfill, you know, that which he preordained for each one of us by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So nobody will, will, will brag or be proud of the accomplishment, you know, because it's not about our past experiences. Hallelujah. You know, this new wine has no past experience. There's a new route altogether. And that's why the Bible says in 2 Peter 2 and verse 9, you know, there are those things that God, you know, has kept for those who love him. And the Bible says these are things, you know, that we have not heard, we have not seen. These things have not even entered, you know, into the heart of any one of us. These are the things, you know, God has kept for us who love him. And, and we are not going to wait for another time. This is the time that we are going to see this in the name of Jesus. That's why more new battles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So uh, that's what you see in the Bible. You know, any elevation has some new, <laughs> you know, so new, new set of some battles, you know, new 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 fields of some new new battles. Hallelujah! So God has in the past years. You know, been preparing an edit time for himself, an edit time army for himself. You know, he has taken them through their personal, you know, season of prepar of preparation. That's why some of us have been going through some things, and other people, you know, even around you are not going through the same. And you kept wondering, I love God, I am like this, I'm living light. What is not happening to my life? So the Lord has been preparing, you know, an edit time army through uh, each one of them going through a process of their own making. And uh, you know, it is now th that time you know when uh, you know now that, that now this is the time they are going to catch things you know you know from the same frequency god is going out to bring you know these people together because why they are catching the things of god from the same frequency there will be no contradiction hallelujah and this is what god has been looking for you know our commander is jesus hallelujah and, and you know and uh, now we are going to hear things from the same frequency we shall catch you know the frequency of the spirit of God, you know, through the same wavelength, hallelujah. And uh, God is bringing such kind of people together from nations, hallelujah, by the grace of God, because God has been working on these people through their own preparation. So, God is now going to inter interconnect them by, by, by His own means, you know, an at time army of the Lord, hallelujah. How I pray that each one of us will desire to be a part of that at time army. Kaidre share the broadcast, even as you listen to what the Lord is saying, I'm going to be fast because I have too much. Hallelujah. So it's an hour of physical fulfillment and physical manifestation. This is a confirmation of what is written already in the scriptures. 
you know uh, this will bring us out or out you know uh, uh, will bring us out or bring us forth in our predestined or ordained destinies in the Lord hallelujah I know some of us we have been praying you know and waiting on and God and pushing concerning our destiny now the time we have entered into we are God is now bringing us out you know to that physical manifestation and physical fulfillment hallelujah by the grace of God so we are all in an expectancy mode we are all in such an expectancy mode you know all of us together in this hour the remnants of God's people hallelujah and uh, you know we are remaining ready we are remaining ready all of us are remaining ready and we are remaining well equipped you know ready to give birth hallelujah you know of the destiny that God already purposed for each one of us now we are all in a place of spiritual expectancy this is how the church of Jesus Christ is going to remain in a in a in a, in a mode of spiritual expect expectancy hallelujah you know we are not just going to do business we are not just going to appear hallelujah we are spiritually very alert uh, you know to an extent that we know any time hallelujah you know God can cause something come my way because a prince can be commanded on my behalf somebody can be commanded on my behalf hallelujah God can speak on my behalf so that is a spiritual expectancy that we, we are going to remain in uh, by the grace of God we shall be manifested in our divinely in, in our divinely purpose destinies we shall be manifested in our divinely purpose destinies and this will bring out you know uh, you know, uh, you know uh, that, that you know who we are. It will bring out who we are. I know some of us. Wow, thank you, my husband. You know, I know some of us. Uh, I know some of us, uh, you know, are, you know, are, are in a place where you are not even sure where you are coming from and where you are going because of where we are coming from. So many things that have happened into our lives, but God is clearing that confusion. No, we are going to be brought out right now. We are going to be manifested as who God ordained and purpose in our personal destinies by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So, and this is going to cause a lot of divine establishment in the lives of the sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know many of us are trying here and touching here and touching there, but this time around, I hear the Spirit of God say, even where I'm seated, you no, know, we are going to be sure this is who I am and this is where I belong. Hallelujah. Oh my God, I hear the Lord say, you know, our establishment is nigh. Hallelujah. We are there. We are there. Hallelujah. There's no trial and error. We are there by the grace of God. So, divine establishment in, you know, in the world, divine establishment for the remnants of God's people is taking place in the world right now. Hallelujah. So get set ready, get set ready to be ushered by God or to be taken by the Lord, you know, where he preordained for you from the beginning. So that we, are, we are going to see, I you know, a lot of unprecedented, so many unprecedented, we have spoken about this before. Hallelujah. Things that, you know, you cannot even explain, you know, things we have not labored for, things we have not, you know, even, uh, you know, even worked for. Hallelujah. It is a working of the Lord, hallelujah, and it's already happening even as we go on into this hour in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So the Lord is causing us, you know, is all of making us, you know, to, to be outstretched in our faith. You know, many of us are used just to hear. This is what, what we are seeing in the life of Bartimaeus. You know, their faith, the woman with the issue of blood. Look at someone like Esther. Look at someone like Joseph. When the, the time of God has come, the appointed time, you know, that, you know, that, that um, you know, acceptable time of God, we see God is causing their faith to be outstretched. Hallelujah. So that they can accomplish, so that we can accomplish, you know, that which is the purpose of God for the now. Hallelujah. So so, there, there, there are some of us, you know, God is going to cause us, you know, to go to areas we never thought we could go. Why? Because now we are not operating in cowardice. We are not cowards anymore. You know, boldness is our portion. Courage and confidence is our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. So the hour has come for the fulfillment of both the Rogos and the Rema. You know, the word that is written in the word of God. That's why the Bible is talking about the latter and the former rain. Hallelujah. So we are going to enjoy that. 
that you know the fulfillment of both the logos and the lemma so whatever is written in the word of god is going to be fulfilled in our now the promises that our fathers of faith never enjoyed and what has been spoken in your life by the you know the encounters you have had you know uh, through the servants of god what the men and women of god have declared in our destinies we are going to see all that and that's why god has been speaking to us and saying get set ready, get set ready for my speed hallelujah in the name of jesus christ so this is where uh you know where in all the fields of god uh that we are already in we are going to see uh, and, you know, great harvest. We are going to encounter great harvest in everything. And uh, the great harvest is also coming with great reward. Hallelujah. No. And uh, God is already setting, you know, uh, different, you know, giftings, you know, different giftings in, in, uh, in, the, in the fields where the harvest is ready. And now that is going, not only going to touch the harvest of souls, but it's a harvest in everything. It is a harvest in everything by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And uh, what is happening? from this hour you know as the lord has been preparing an end time army for himself and now god is you know gathering them all or interconnecting them you realize the season where people have been competing with each other is over i don't know whether you have seen our witness this in the church before this time around the people god you know is interconnecting it's like elizabeth and mary we are not competing we are in different you know time frame we are in different age group hallelujah but and we have been visited by God in different levels and different scenarios. So this time around, there will be no competition for the remnants of God's people but the Lord is saying, we shall be complimenting each other. Hallelujah. And what God is raising in our midst is a corporate sign. Hallelujah. One voice, one stand. This is where the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2, that church they had everything in common. You know, everything about them. Hallelujah. They had everything in common hallelujah so none of us will be doing this and others the other side so uh, this this at a time and my god is interconnecting they'll be hearing the same voice hallelujah because if we are in the same season we are in the same spiritual zone you know time zone in, we are in the same spiritual time zone so there'll be no contradiction by the grace of god so god is raising a corporate sign in our midst that will not be competing but complementing uh, each other by the grace of god hallelujah so god is going to gather and cause these people to meet because it is a season of god and which we, each one of us will be doing whatever they are supposed to be doing hallelujah we are gathering in the fields of god because the harvest is ready and it is our, a time for our reward so each one of us by the measure of grace that god has reached upon our lives we shall be that why we are talking about you know the reapers you know overtaking the sower that is where we are you know those are different workers with different graces but they are meeting in the same field by the grace of god at the same time hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah so i will not explain much because i have so much uh, uh, this is where we, the, uh, for the, those people who have been following us in whichever setup we have been speaking about this the whole of this month, the whole of last month, we are already in a new year. By the way, happy new year. <laughs> Hallelujah. So there shall be such a breading, there shall be such a breading in the spirit and, uh, and, uh, and so uh, the physical alignment of the physical workings will be so well spiritually, you know, interconnected. There, there shall be such, you know, breading, you know, hallelujah. Look at the way Mary and Elizabeth are breading. Look at the way uh, David and Jonathan are breading. Hallelujah. That is God for you. That is what God is doing right, uh, right now. Hallelujah. Look at the way Esther and Mordecai are breading. Rikata Ramazia. Hallelujah. Look at the way Peter and Cornelius are breading. That is God God for you hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ so uh, the breading is in the spirit and it is going to bring physical alignment and physical workings you know uh, in, in spiritual matters that are going to be so well interconnected and uh, the gaps that have been there you know there are so many gaps that have been there they are not going to be there anymore in the fields of God hallelujah because God is filling all the spiritual gaps hallelujah by the grace of God and God is filling the, the spiritual gaps in even in our personal lives by by the new vessels or the new workers you know god is setting our way or the new vessels god is setting our way you know and uh, the, the, the lord is saying i am the one who has released them in this hour by my own grace so uh the, the, their, their physical operations will be so easily handled 
the physical operation. This is what we are seeing. Remember that story, you know, where Ul and Aaron are lazy in the hands of Moses. You know, Joshua is in the battlefield. Hallelujah. So that, that is, you know, these are the kind of scenarios. Remember Second Chronicles, you know, the, the Judah leading the way. And, uh, you know, everybody knows what they are supposed to do. And uh, Jehoshaphat and the people had the victory. So that is it. Interconnecting, spiritual interconnection. And then the physical working is going to be very easy for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So when you look at the word of God in the book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9 what is needed now is your personal confidence what is needed now is your personal confidence so what is confidence confidence is assurance confidence is assurance confidence is certainty confidence is also and in another now in another words it's courage you know confidence is determination hallelujah confidence comes with your morale it comes with your poise i love that you know it shows your spirit hallelujah it also shows, shows your tenacity you know remember where we are coming from about tenacity hallelujah so what is needed now in your life because of the new formulas and uh, <laughs> mom thank you thank you so much you know what is needed now is you you know you you are you know you are confidence and let me tell you my brethren you know Esther could not have maneuvered her way without confidence you need confidence don't be a coward don't, don't don't walk like you know you walk your shoulders high from this hour we are already in a new year so you know come out of come out of fear you know don't fear anything hallelujah as long as you're sure the lord has ordered you step, just go personal confidence yes really and hallelujah so it is an hour of the divine and this is what god is telling joshua you know the deal ahead of you you need personal confidence hallelujah and i hear the spirit of god say when you have personal confidence you are able to make you know you know decisions without wavering you are able to make decisions without wavering. Yeah, hallelujah. So it's an hour of the of, of that divine or unprecedented sudden race. Hallelujah. You know, and I hear the spirit of God call them where I'm seated right now. Surprises. You know, prepare yourself for unprecedented suddenness or surprises. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. This is where you're going to see the convoy of the king coming to Rodiba because it is, you know, a season of unprecedented, you know suddenness and surprises from the throne of grace hallelujah oh my god this is where mordecai is picked from the gate we know he has been a gate man and the same man who has been wanted to destroy him is now taking him around that is how things are turning around by the grace of god hallelujah there's a the, 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 you know in the same locality in the same nation where joseph had been in you know where, where, where joseph had been uh, you know thrown into the prison through lies you know it's the same egypt my god hallelujah where he's now ruling over even the same potiphar and the wife oh my god this is our god hallelujah tables are turning my god let me read the word of god because i'm now getting worked up here by the spirit of god hallelujah so uh, we are in that season that nobody will take god's glory in this hour only that which is meant to be god's own design only that which is meant to be of god's own design as part the preordained purpose will be hallelujah nothing else you know it's only that hallelujah that which is of the design of god according to the preordained purpose so enter your rest church hallelujah as long as you continue i mean you continue abiding in the lord you know it's only that which is of the purpose of god will start or come your way by the grace of god so all the cap all the captives of god's people all the captives of God's people are returning to their strongholds. God is regathering his people. God is regathering his people. God has released or sent forth both the fishermen and the hunters' graces. We know the fishermen and the hunters' graces. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter you know, 16 and verse 6. You know, 16 and verse 16. You know, God has released the hunters' grace and the fishermen graces. Hallelujah. To seek those people out. You know, in the places where they have been doing or living what they are not supposed to be doing or doing what they are not supposed to be doing or living where they are not supposed to be living. So God is already doing that. And you know, it is purposed by God. And that's why I'm speaking to each one of us this year and from this season you know don't compete with god don't fight with god hallelujah don't fight with god don't
Don't compete with God. Hallelujah. Allow him to do that which is his purpose in your destiny. Allow the Lord to do that which is of his agenda in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the, the Bible says that God knows those who are his. Hallelujah. And none of God's people is going to perish. None of God's people is going to perish. By whatever means, none of God's people is going to perish in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. So there is such a regathering. There is a, such a regathering. There is such an in gathering. A regathering and an in gathering. A regathering and an in gathering. Hallelujah. Of God's people. The Holy Spirit is accomplishing. You know, there's such an in gathering and an regathering, in gathering and a regathering. So, men and women of God, I know you have been counting chairs. So, if you are walking right with God, if you are a part of the remnants, Kaidren, buy more seats create more space. Souls of men are regathering. There is going to be an regathering and a regathering. Hallelujah. And God is going to usher the remnants of his people where they belong, where there is bread and food enough for them to be fed by the grace of God. So the Holy Spirit is accomplishing all this by the masses of God, the grace of God, and the favor of God. Hallelujah. So get settled for deliverances. You know, uh, get settled for deliverances. Uh, you know, uh, not the classes we have been going through and the gimmicks and whatever we have been going through because God's lem uh, because um, you know God's lemnats from places and things you know where they you know where they where, where they went through pain and misery agony and race you know in the days past the Lord is saying in this season you know I'm going to cause I'm going to deliver them it is God who is causing that's what I told you the other day you are going to see uh, you know uh, you know the the twilight girls you know, the prostitutes, the, the lobbers, and the drunkards, you know, come to the house of God. And, and as you think somebody's just coming drunk, as you just think somebody's coming dressed funny, hallelujah. Somebody is coming ready for the service, ready for the assignment, hallelujah. Because that is where we are, by the grace of God. So God is causing the deliverances. God is doing it, hallelujah, to the vessels that he has been prepared or set apart for the use, for his use right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So it's a season for us to enjoy the rata and the former rains. I've already told you that. And because why, my brethren, never again will, God, will God's people be ashamed. We shall no longer be as corn to nations. Are you hearing this? And this foundation is laid by God in this hour for the, uh, for the, I mean, the first two years, 2023 and 2024. These are the two years that are laying the foundation of the new season that the Lord has already brought us into. Hallelujah. So, and I prepared you from the beginning. I told you the season will go down to seven years. If Jesus tarries, the season will go down to seven years. So it's going to be such an exciting moment, you know, for the remnants of God's people. If the distinction is going to be be so real wow this is the best time for us who have waited on god hallelujah my god this is where mika chapter 4 and verse 1 will tell you the mountain of the house of god hallelujah we are there by the grace of god so many of us have been used to bad news you know, many of us, like Hannah, you have been used to bad news. You wake up, and Aina is there mocking you. Hallelujah. You wake up, David, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Saul is there, you know, looking after you and uh, following after you to mess up. Uh, Kaidri, I'm not receiving calls. The person who is calling me, if you're online, Kaidri, stop calling because I'm using all my phones. Now, listen to this. Uh, many of us are used to bad news. You know, you wake up, there is a bad news. Mordecai, you wake up, and, and, and then the next thing you see is uh, you know this man you know uh, you know Herman you know with the garland that is there and uh, you know they are trying to to bring you down hallelujah so because of that now the tide has shifted because of the shifted season the tide has shifted we shall enjoy the other side it is time for the remnants of God's people to enjoy the other side of life we shall enjoy the other side of life the glory of God will be so manifested hallelujah in our destinies hallelujah so what is the lord saying church kaidre share the broadcast i am i didn't have not seen you share the broadcast i'm seeing the people who have shared kaidre share the broadcast so we have entered into a season of good tidings hallelujah so prepare yourself from this first day of january 2023 we have entered into a season of good tidings you know for us and uh, with us you know everywhere by the grace of god so where is the church in a nutshell 
Where is the church? Where is the church? I said, I'm giving you a general summary of the season we are in. Hallelujah. So where is the church? Now, I have already prepared you when I was beginning for those who are just, just joining us. Um, you know, uh, you know, I, I, uh, um, I, I, I've already prepared you. And, uh, you know, let, let me let me just say it as the Spirit of God is saying it where I'm seated. You know, we have entered into a season where, you know, the, the, the kingdom of darkness in the world and the kingdom of God will kind of, work, kind of been working. They'll be working like parallel. Hallelujah. So everyone is pulling for their kingdom. Everyone is pulling for their kingdom. Now, listen. Now, we are going to see a lot of demonic operations coming from the agents of the devil, coming from the new world order. You are going to see, I've been preparing you. I've been preparing you from December 1st until now. I'm still preparing you. Uh, and that's why God is talking about personal confidence. So when you see these things, you know, you, we, are, we have become of age. You can tell your neighbor, we have now matured. We are not going to panic like uh, the heathen. You know, as, as the devil is doing whatever he's doing because he knows his time is up and he's also busy winning souls to his kingdom and trying to woo so many into his kingdom. Then on the other hand, you know, the kingdom of God is busy, you know, you know, causing and setting laborers because the fields are ready, you know, for harvest. Hallelujah. And uh, I am preparing you. So whatever you will see, because the Bible shows us we shall see. The Bible does not say that we concentrate on what the devil is doing. The Bible says that we should not be ignorant of his devices, but not to concentrate. So don't give it your concentration. Our concentration in this hour is on the author and the finisher, Lord of our faith hallelujah so get hold of that now we have entered into a season the people who have just come the world has entered into a season of spiritual scaling you know a spiritual scaling balance you know that that has uh, spiritual balancing scale or whatever however you want to frame it hallelujah so there is that balancing that balancing that a spiritual you know weighing scale it's already happening right now so you are either on the kingdom of god or you are either in the kingdom of god and the spirit of god is doing this operation why because he searches the deep things of god he knows you know what is supposed to be in the world he knows what is supposed to be happening hallelujah so we are in a scenario like it was for isaac in the book of genesis chapter 26 i will not read the scriptures because of time because i need to tell you the rema word for this season so that you can you know, wage war with it. Hallelujah. So we are in that scenario. Now look at this. Because the where, 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 where Isaac found himself. Kindly my husband, don't sleep. You're going to pray for us today. I'll bring you on board. Now listen to this. I honor this man of God. Oh, what a husband. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen to this. Um, uh, we have we are in that particular moment. Thank you, Holy. The Spirit of God is now confirming things where I'm seated. Now we, that's where we are. Now there is a season of famine where God is telling Isaac to uh, to stay. You know, stay in the land that I'm going to show you. So the, the land where God is telling Isaac to stay, there is famine already. There is drought, physical, not spiritual. Hallelujah. And you know, God is telling Isaac, as I was with my servant uh, Abraham. You know, and what I'm doing to you, I'm cutting it short. You know, I'm, I'm even you know just you know framing it up you know it's because of my servant abraham you know who walked right before me and, and you know isaac obeys the spirit of god that's why i'm saying you fit in the season of god and throw with it and uh, isaac is staying there so at the end of the day what do we see there is no prophetic word about sowing in the land or nothing and and isaac is working so whatever the devil my husband thank you so whatever the devil will bring on whatever the devil will bring on you know you should not it should not scare you Reca the spirit of god i have been praying for us from yesterday my listen to me church hallelujah i wish i can reach all of you hallelujah listen to me now this is the best time ah, thank you holy spirit we have entered into the best spiritual time for you to do the business go, you know that vision god gave you this is the best time hallelujah go for that supermarket god promised you go for that marriage god promised you go for whatever God promised you, whatever dream you have in the Lord, whatever desire you have in the Lord, this is the best time. Hallelujah. Because why? God has brought us into the best time and we are here with him and for him. Hallelujah. And he's going to cause us, you know, do things, my God, contrary to the agenda of men in the world. Hallelujah. And, and you know, the spirit of God was telling me where I was praying yesterday when the world will be going west, the church will be going east. Hallelujah. Ah, 
Hallelujah. So we shall not be affected by whatever the devil brings on. Let them bring another pandemic. We shall, when they go their pandemic, we shall be going the spiritual. Hallelujah. When they bring the pandemic, my God, on the other side, listen to me, church. You know, God is going to release the, the grace of healing. You know, they bring the pandemic, the pandemic, they want to kill the, the human race, and God is now anointing us with the healing grace. Hallelujah. We enter into those words and release everybody and send people home and, and give doctors a holiday. <laughs> Hallelujah. So this is what we are seeing in, in the life of Isaac. Isaac is living contrary. There, 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 is, there is physical dryness, but the son of Abraham is operating contrary. Hallelujah. Is operating contrary. Come on, somebody prepare yourself. When they say whatever bad report, they, that's, that's why I began by telling you where we are coming from. We have entered into a season of good news. Hallelujah. And I hear the Spirit of God say, wherever we shall step, my God, we are taking over. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We are taking over supermarkets. The wicked and their, their, their powers of darkness have been, you know, have been, you know, selling to us their things and have been doing their things. This time around, the sons of God are taking over. We are taking over the seven mountains of influence. We are taking over. Hallelujah. Because why? You know, God is bringing us out to the limelight. Listen to me, somebody in your family setup everywhere. God is bringing the remnants of His people to the limelight. Listen to me, uh, uh, Joseph. I mean, uh, David. Listen, your brothers may have the experience of the battle, but God is bringing somebody he has prepared through the process of killing the bear killing the lion the process of god hallelujah oh my god come on when you find joseph as a prime minister my god he has gone through the pit my god he has gone through being a slave you know being bought by the ishmaelite as a slave he has gone through it all hallelujah so oh my god hallelujah oh my god oh hallelujah I need to behave so that I can read what I have for us. <laughs> so th th that is where we are. So as you have entered this new year, you know, we, ha we have now, we are in the first staircase of year 2023. Don't worry about the report. They'll be saying breaking news, the BBC or whatever, the CNN, you know, breaking news. I, I, because we are going to see, you know, break out of, uh, no, by the way, prepare yourself for nuclear wars in the world. Prepare yourself for all those. We are in any times. Hallelujah. So let, let them bring them on. Let them bring them on. We know where we are and we know the character of God. I hear the Spirit of God say, we shall be operating in a different character altogether. We are in a different character of a spiritually shifted season of our favor in the world by the grace of God. Yes, we are taking over. Thank you, Jerika Sharon Mwarim. I'm happy to see you. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. So we are in that season. Hallelujah. So we must live as per the reading and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We must be where, you know, our, the spiritual GPS will locate us at all times. Isaac, stay in the land. I will show you. Be where the Lord has ordered your steps. Not where your cousin has sent you. Not where somebody has, has told you, I see, I hear. Hallelujah. Be where your father has ordered your steps. Hallelujah. So God will quickly avenge. Now, God will quickly from this night, the other thing the Lord is doing, you know, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 18. Quickly, I'm going to read that scripture. I'm already there. The Spirit of God has just allowed me to open the Bible and get there. Luke chapter 18, verse 7 to 8. Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18, verse 7 to 8. And shall God not avenge, you know, and uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm appearing in so many cameras, so <laughs> let me try to balance this. And shall God not avenge his own erect who cry, uh, you know, out day and night to him through the, uh, the uh, though, uh, though he bears long with them. Hallelujah. Shall not God avenge for us? I tell you that he will avenge, you know, them speedily. Are you hearing this? God will avenge for us speedily. The Bible says, nevertheless, when the soul, there is, now, the, the other point I want to read as the Lord gave me utterance is that God will quickly avenge for his lemnats in speed. 
you know, God will quickly avenge, and it, you know, there is commanded speed for God to avenge for us. So anywhere somebody, you know, Joseph, where you have gone through pain, wait for vengeance of God. Hallelujah. Wait, wait, Mordecai, for God's vengeance. Hallelujah. Wait for the vengeance of God. God is doing it. The other thing the Lord is doing is compensating, you know, for the remnants, and the compensation, the compensation plan is already a done deal. So wait for your compensation where you are due for compensation wait for it and the plan of god is already done hallelujah so the other thing is that get set ready for massive change uh church get set ready you know for massive change of god get set ready for massive change of god we are going to see generals we are going to see the old priesthood god is going to cause retirement to some of them you know, remember what the Lord spoke about reshuffle, you know, the, the, the compromised priesthood seated in high places, change of God. Hallelujah. There's going to be a reshuffle in the cabinet of God in his church. Hallelujah. So that he can pave way, you know, for the remnants of his people. The other thing is resignation. We are going to see people who have been doing one, two, three things in the kingdom of God. They cannot handle it anymore because they have not lived right. So they are just going to resign and somebody will just go back to business and say, I'm going back to work. You know, hallelujah, by the grace of God, hallelujah. So God is showing his, uh, his, his now kindness. God is showing his now kindness. Kindly the amen you are typing in my inbox. Kindly come and type it here. We need it here. Kindly share the word of God. Hallelujah. So God is showing his now kindness to the remnants of his people. His now kindness because of the covenant and the promises that he already has for us. So it is a time for them. You know, it is also a time for the true worshippers to, to come forth. God is bringing, you know, he has been searching for them. So now he is bringing them out. Not gospel singers who can sing here and sing in the club and go partying and drinking and fornicating. Now God is bringing out, you know, uh, you know, the true worshippers, not religious people, not religious guys, but true worshippers who are going to worship God. Thank you, Ruth, for obeying. <laughs> who are going to worship God in truth and in the spirit? Hallelujah! By the grace of God. So we shall be holy because our Father is holy. God is already purifying us. Remember that. Now it is a such. A, it is such. A personal call kind of allow me now to read through because of time it is such a personal call for each one of us to flow with the new season it is such a personal call for each one of us to be able to flow with the new season so that each member of the body may be efficiently and effectively supplied to the other parts of the body because that is what we are called to do you are not just called to feel good because you are anointed we have an assignment as each member of the body you know we we, are, we have different parts to be able to supply to the other members of the body you know according to the measure of grace you know that god has released upon your life so it is time that god is bringing together an end time army i'm reminding you that that will be manifested in his authority you know what you're going to see from this year 2023 are uh, people who are not even schooled people who are not even educated but the authority they have in god you cannot withstand you know we are going to see the spirit of god was telling me today we are going even to see young boys and young girls you know two years children my god coming out and speaking in tongues and commanding things in the spirit because we are in that season hallelujah the spirit of god is up, outpoured upon all flesh so we are we are we are going to see you know uh the, the army manifested in the authority of God in the glory of God and in the power of God the Bible says our kingdom is not in a in a in a in a in words but the kingdom is in power so we are about to see that by the grace of God so we are we are, we are going to witness what Joel says you know the greater glory of this hour you know that is going to be greater it is greater glory of this hour than the former hallelujah and uh, you know the former and the latter is together as I have already told you so there shall be much sanctification prepare yourself if you see the Lord rebuke you even in your cross Set, you know you think you are okay but you know god is you know it has released the grace of sanctifying us afresh you know purifying us refining us aligning us and this is going even to cut off you know some of us from some quarters because we cannot fit there anymore hallelujah some of you are going to be relocated you know from some places of work because god does not want you to be defiled anymore hallelujah and uh, did you know this is why joseph went to the prison because uh, god could not have allowed defilement in potiphar's house hallelujah so god can do anything he can use any formula and that's why he's telling us to be ready for that hallelujah so god is going to also revive us you know we are in any time revival he's going to individually revive us so that when we gather 
Father, you know, together as a corporate son, you know, we shall be revived so that we can revive, hallelujah, by the grace of God. And this is also going to enable us to bud, you know, and blossom. We saw that from the word of God and, uh, you know, bear fruit. And uh, we are supposed to fill the world with the fruit. You know, you remember the scripture in the book of uh, 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 Isaiah 20, uh, 27 and verse 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we shall see such an overtaking grace. Prepare yourself for an overtaking grace. Prepare over, uh, yourself for an overtaking grace. This is where, you know, you have been mocked uh, by Penina because you have no children. But when God begins with you, you are overtaking, getting children. Prrr, hallelujah. Uh, that is where we are. Hallelujah. So whatever you are, look at the, the kind of a promotion God is giving Joseph from prison to a prime minister. That's an overtaking grace. Hallelujah. So prepare yourself for an overtaking grace in all operations as far as seven mountains of influence are concerned. So whichever area God has, has, has given you and whatever God has called you, prepare prophetess Regina, prepare yourself for an overtaking grace, not only in Africa, but in the continents of the world. I have already pre prophesied to myself, hallelujah, with my household, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So uh, we, we are going to have that by the grace of God. And uh, as the Lord is bringing us out as his branch, you know, we, we are going to see, you know, you know, he's going to release in us and it's already done, you know, where he's taking us. Uh, through the overtaking grace, what we see in the life of Joseph, divine wisdom, hallelujah, look at Daniel, divine wisdom, you know, God is already doing that, the overtaking grace is coming with the divine wisdom, because the positions God has given us, we need some of this wisdom, hallelujah, you cannot just behave, and you cannot just dress and do things, you know, we need to be, to be very sober, why is the Lord doing things, because he has already now released in us, the remnants of his people, you know, the solution of mankind, what doctors cannot handle, what doctors cannot handle now, the remnants of God's people will handle. What governments cannot handle, the sons of God will handle. So prepare yourself to be sought after. Even by the MC of your area, for those who are in Kenya, the governors of your nation, prepare yourself. They will inquire, is there no bam in Gilead? Rikata Ramazia, hallelujah. So prepare yourself for that. And uh, let me tell you the truth. What the world will not be able to give, the remnants of God's people will give. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying, these are my divine setters. I told you the other day, the wicked are piling up their wealth or their riches for the sake of the righteous. So, you know, God has to divinely bring this uh, no, his setups, hallelujah, so that we can take over the world by the grace of God, hallelujah. So in conclusion, by the grace of God, we shall see massive exit of the old wine. We shall see massive exit. And this is touching, you know, all the seven mountains of influence. We shall see, it is touching the church, it is touching the government. And I've been preparing us, you know, for the first time ever in a season, we are going to, to lose some three head of states in the world for the first time ever and one major in africa an old one you know prepare yourself in this season let me leave that prophetic word there but you can have it for your record because you're going to see that hallelujah so africa uh, will begin to be prophetically you know uh, positioned or assume her her, her end times uh, position and, and assignment so from now you're going to see the continent of Africa, Now I'm now back home, we are going to see that, you know, up Africa to begin uh, being prophetically, you know, assuming, you know, her, her, you know, her end time place and position. And we know there is a prophetic word in my YouTube, you need to go there and listen uh, what God has said about Africa in the now. So um, there is uh, something that is coming and it's not going to be very far in the near future. Uh, so I'm preparing you. There is a targeted demonic operation to cause human massacre, great human massacre in the world. And uh, the agents of the devil are already working on this. So when you see, and uh, these are part of the edit times, you know, whatever the, the diseases that will not be cured and whatever. So we cannot pray these things away. A son of the devil has to be used somewhere to be able to bring this on board. Now, when you see these things, the Lord is saying self-confidence, self-confidence where you have confidence in the Lord and you know that God is keeping you and God is going to preserve you. Hallelujah. In whatever state, God is going to preserve us. Amen. So just, uh, you know, just a sound warning. I just want to give a sound warning, as the Lord called it, uh, to the government of Kenya. I'm finishing. I told you I'm giving you a summary of the season because of time. Uh, a a sound warning to the government of Kenya. 
I just want to pass this here, that there is nothing that anybody will try with their influence in any seat of influence against the purpose of God for the nation that will come through, that will go through. It will not come through, it will not go through. And I'm telling you the truth, God has taken over the destiny of the nation of Kenya. It's going to be very difficult for the crafty and the wicked seated in, a, in any seat of authority thinking that they are going to do their way the way they have been doing it before or other regimes have been doing it this time around it's going to be very very difficult anything touching the world of kenya touching the destiny of kenya nobody will be able to do anything against the purpose of god i'm telling you somebody will be fighting god head on and god is on it because kenya has an assignment for africa and kenya has an assignment uh, for the continent, I mean for the nations of the world, by the grace of God. So God will not allow anybody to mess up with the purpose of God in the land. And uh, the, the other thing I want to make a one, because you're going to see it, the families and the people who gunned up and gathered masses, uh, you know, well, uh, through wickedness. Now the Lord has said, pay time has come, and you're going to see a lot of exposures and God serving justice publicly in some of these places, not only in Kenya, but even in the nations of the world, and even in family setups, by the grace of God. Nothing that is not God, you know, will, will pass, not only in Kenya, but in the nations of the world. No, nothing, nothing that is not God, that is not ordained of God. No, whether it has international push, nothing will pass in this hour, unless it is coming from the throne of grace. Hallelujah. So, the prosperity and the restoration of Kenya is already released. The prosperity of the nation of Kenya and the restoration of the economy, it's already a done deal. The Lord has already completed with that. And what we are going to see are uh, international investors, a lot of them, and the nations of the world wanting to be associated with the nation of Kenya. Hallelujah. Because Kenya has an end time assignment. I told you from the beginning for those people who know that Kenya, God called Kenya, you know, the maid of honor. God called Kenya. And uh, from the physical Israel, Kenya is number two in the heart of God. So there is something that God is quickly going to do in this nation, even, even in this uh, shifted uh, uh, season, by the grace of God. So um, we're going to see many investors, and the Lord was saying we pray that uh, the wicked investors may not come over because the God will not allow, God will not allow by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. This is the Rema word. I want to finish with this. Kaidre, my husband get prepared you pray for us tonight this is the lemma word this is the lemma word for the season this is the lemma word. my time is up but give me some of your two three minutes let me read for you the lemma word i'll read slowly uh bit by bit uh of it so the lemma word for this season that is already shifted this is what the lord has said it's coming from the book of isaiah 51 i've given you a summary of the season uh, Isaiah 51 from verse 1 to verse 5. I'm reading the New King James, the, uh, the King James, uh, the New King James version. So the Bible says, Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. These are the remnants of God's people. You who seek the Lord, I believe we are gathered here because of that. Look to the lock from which you are when. Look to the lock from which you are when. So you cannot concentrate anywhere else because our help and our victory in this hour is not coming from anywhere else. And to the hole of the pit from which you are dug. So that is our originality. And you remember we have been talking about our true identity. You remember that word. For those who have been with me for the past one month, you remember that. We are claiming our true identity. So that is it. Verse number 2 of Isaiah 51, the Bible says, Look to Abraham your father, hallelujah, and to Sarah who bore you, for I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Now this, are, this is our foundation. This is where we belong. And this is now... Uh, this we are we are we are we are a seed of Abraham and uh, this is a part of who we are so if God did that to our father even in this hour he's going to do let me show you what the Lord is about to do verse 3 the Bible says for the Lord will comfort Zion hallelujah he will comfort all her waste places are you seeing this the Lord will make her wilderness like Eden are you seeing that hallelujah no vain labor the God's people will not be ashamed. We shall not be as corn again to nations. 
the bible says um and uh, and uh, and and her desert like the garden of the lord so where things have not been moving where things have not been working as long as you are there at the command of the lord there is a shift that is coming with our favor and a turn of events hallelujah so the bible says joy and gladness will be found in it thanksgiving and the voice of melody hallelujah come on somebody begin looking for worship i mean for for praise shoes hallelujah we, we can begin dancing even before we receive it physically because the lord is already doing it the bible says uh, verse 4 listen to me my people and give uh, give uh, give ear to me O my nation for for row will proceed um for row will proceed from me so it is not proceeding it's no it is not in the future now what i'm reading we are doing we are we are talking about it now it's already happening because the season is already shifted and the bible says and i will make my justice rest as a right of the peoples the justice of god hallelujah verse 5 the bible says my righteousness is near the righteousness of god is now hallelujah so we are not talking about near my salvation has gone forth now hallelujah and my arms will judge the peoples hallelujah the coast guard will wait upon me and on my on on, and, uh, on my arm they will trust hallelujah so the lord is if you read those scriptures go and sit down again in your own version and see everything the lord has been speaking to us from the first of december until now it's put there together in one thing in one component hallelujah so we are already restored to our originality in the lord and we are getting there by the masses of god and we shall be established there hallelujah we are not strangers in the lord we are sons of god so prepare yourself to get to the destiny that god preordained for you what is needed of us right now, church, is just fit in the season and flow with the season. Fit in the season and flow with the season. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Because of time, because I'm using some other platforms, I don't want the, the media to cut me because of time. I want to leave it there. I'm looking for my husband. Hallelujah. Oh, he slept off. Amen. I don't know. Kaidri Pastor Paul, are you there? He's in another <laughs> amen I, I didn't wanted him to pray for us tonight but uh I, I want you to i want you to uh remain very alert in the spirit uh we shall continue with this we shall continue with whatever the lord wants us to continue with my brethren i have labored i have done by the grace of god all what the lord wanted me to do the whole of this uh of, of december 2022 i have faithfully delivered the, yeah, I hear you. Kaidre, uh, um, I want you to, I'm requesting my husband to come and pray for us. Um, uh, I have done what the Lord wanted me to do and what the Lord sent me to do the whole month. I have done it. I have done it. So my hands are clean. I'm also there waiting to see what the Lord is up to. Hallelujah. If God gives me another direction, we can still reach out and let us know what the Lord is up to. We have some other platforms with the women and uh, other groupings. We, are, we have been doing some things, even praying for Africa. Kaidre, you can inquire and join up in one of these ministrations uh, that we are doing every week, you know, as, as the Lord has commanded. But my, my brethren, by the grace of God, thank you for being there. Thank you for, you know, studying with, the, you know, with me and praying for me. Even imagine a whole month, I have never done this. Even, you know, God give me the grace to go this far. It's, you know, it's all about him. I thank God for my husband and my children and all of you, you know, you know, even for, you know, being there, being there, listening to the word of God. I have poured out all what the Lord wanted me to pour. So may the Lord give you a victorious 2023. It's one of the years that is laid, that is laid as a foundation of the new season that the Lord has brought us into. So don't just enter into the year you know, just like that. No, it is a season. It is a year that is marking a foundation of a very new season by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I'm looking for, I'm looking for, I want to bring forth the man of God. Kaidre Pastor Paul, can you request to come on board? 
just a request down there there's a place you can request click then i bring you on board hi dave you are able to if you are able to um I, I, I really wanted him to pray for us um these gadgets uh, kindly pastor paul uh request make a request there's a place where you can request to come on board then i'll just allow you in then you pray for us our time is up uh, we need to be released uh, i've taken some of the few minutes for the church so i was saying may the lord bless you so much we keep on praying for each other and we keep on uh, you know uh, and, uh, catching up let's see what the lord is up to the lord has already given me you know a program of the way forward for the church in my nation and the continent and uh, you know we shall traverse uh, whenever god will allow us to by the grace of god so let us keep in touch and let us see what the lord is up to hallelujah i am waiting for my man amen father in the name of jesus allow us we are we are, we are learning also to use these things so <laughs> uh hallelujah so father in the name of jesus i'm seeing servants of god here is there any servant of god who is able to come on board is there any servant of god who is this who is requesting to come on board is there any servant of god who is able to come on board hallelujah any servant of god um who is uh, able to come on board hallelujah i've i've uh, i've allowed one to come on board mm. pastor paul kaidri request our time is up uh, i'm trying to add you up these gadgets anyway uh god bless us so much father release us by your grace favor and mercy and watch over each one of us oh god father i decree that king of all glory each one of us is going to enjoy you know our reclaimed identity in you and we shall be able to become that which you preordained for us in this hour by the grace of god father thank you that you have carried us through the whole of the month of december year 2022 and my father you have allowed us to see you know the beginning of a new year all together the same grace that has carried us through my god the year 2022 and the other past years my god we believe you everlasting father that the same grace is going to carry us through in this new season by your grace in the name of jesus i disperse each one of us by your grace favor and mercy and i pray everlasting father that you may meet your people my god at the point of their needs because father we are in that season where you are granting the desires of our heart father we thank you and we give you the grace on behalf of my husband and my family we are so grateful may the lord bless you may the lord watch over you and may his grace abound upon your lives in jesus name god bless you